The Federal Reserve has announced its toughest policy move since the 1980s. It's another interest rate hike, the fourth in a row, all in an effort to try and cool down inflation. The goal here is to make short-term pain in hopes of long-term gain. And joining us this morning to talk about it all is our good friend David Hall. You know him. He's from Hall Financial. First of all, thanks for waking up early with us this morning. Hey, it's great to be with you. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. I know that you're a big fan of winter. So it's your time of year right now. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for being here. Listen, let's let's talk about this rate hike and kind of break it all down for our viewers at home. This is the sixth rate hike this year. The fourth straight time the Fed has increased it by three quarters of a percent. How is this impacting Americans? Well, it's, it's unprecedented. And yesterday, Jerome Powell, the, the Fed uh, chief, he, he sent a very clear signal. And he basically said that I'm not worried about a recession. I'm not worried about anything else. I have to tame inflation. And the one device that the Fed has to tame inflation is to keep continue to ratchet up rates. Mm. And so you're going to continue to see them move rates up, which is causing you know credit card interest rates to be at the highs of decades the average credit card rate right now is at 19 percent and folks are going to start to feel that and there's going to be ramifications all this but his number one goal and he's made this really clear is to get inflation under control because it's the biggest economy killer that there is and he's got a, he's laser focused on it there's no doubt about it yeah you mentioned killing the economy there should we be concerned about a recession Yes, very concerned. However, we're also very concerned about inflation. So he's trying to get this just right. He's trying to continue to raise rates and he's hopefully going to see some positive inflationary news, which they just haven't seen yet. So if he starts to see that, I think that you'll have him talking about moderating his hikes. But it's this game of the inflation data coming, not getting any better. He's got to continue to ratchet up rates until he sees that. Now, interestingly, we've also got a jobs report coming out tomorrow that's going to be very interesting for the economy as well. So there's a lot of factors to look at, but the number one thing that Powell and the Fed are focused on is taming inflation, which is going to mean higher rates on your mortgage in, in, in the long term, higher rates if you buy a car, higher rates on credit cards. That's just the way it's going to be in the short term until they get inflation under control. We're going to talk about buying a car and a, and a house in just a second here. But as far as those interest rates, will they ever go back down? Yes, I think they will. And typically in a recessionary environment, which a lot of folks think we're heading to as soon as maybe next year, you will see rates start to come down. So it's hmm. this push-pull where there's a very volatile market. I mean, yesterday, I think the Dow was up uh, three or 400 points. And when Powell made his announcement, it quickly reversed and went down 500. So we're seeing these very volatile times based on the fact that everybody's worried about inflation. And what Powell had to say yesterday, it was a market moving kind of a day. We're gonna see what happens today, which yeah. you know we're all interested in. But I think that the most important thing that folks need to realize is that this isn't a permanent thing. It is somewhat temporary. Okay. Well, let's talk about the, the housing market real quick before I let you go. Uh, mortgage rates, they're increasing as well at an all-time high, 7.46%. For a 30-year fix there, what is that doing for people who are looking to buy or sell a house right now? Well, it definitely is causing a shift in the market. You know, in 2020 and 2021, we had this unbelievable seller's market where it was very tough for a buyer to get a home. So the increase in rates is helpful to buyers because they're going to be able to be more choosy and negotiate price. Okay. They're just going to be paying a higher interest rate. Keep in mind that if you look at any five or seven year chart on interest rates, there most likely will be an opportunity to refinance. So you're not going to be in this rate forever, most likely, if you look historically. So if you're getting a higher rate now, but you're getting the house that you want, maybe a little discount on the price, it works out in the wash and you've got an opportunity to refinance in the future. So that's for folks that are looking to move right now. All right. Well, we know you'll continue to stay on top of it. David Hall with Hall Financial. Always great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us this morning.